Esther, I'll start with you. Uh, what are the changes Nikki is going through uh, in season three? Yeah, well, I think her kind of whole thing this season is her expectation of what she thought being a parent was versus the reality of of that for her. And I think she probably assumed she was a certain type of parent and it's a lot harder, I think, for her, I think, trying to bond with these children. She so desperately wants to do it because it means so much to them. And they only have 12 weeks to, I guess, prove to people that they can keep these two children because they're only approved for one. And mm. it's such a pressure cooker for her. And for someone who likes things to be in control, she has no control about how these kids feel about her. So I think that creates a lot of, um, yeah, a lot of tension for her within the series. And, and Riff, you're, you're kind of on the other end of the stick. I mean, it seems that, you know, this parenting stuff comes really easy to you. Yeah, you know, I think that the fun comes pretty easy to him, but that's the sort of glory work, you know, like the the um, the everyday stuff, the, uh, you know, I think that there's a lot that Nikki does that isn't as sort of... Um, uh, fun. fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> she, she's without Nikki, he'd be nothing, you know. Um, and so he's really good at like throwing the kids around and stuff. But it's Nikki that organizes everything. It's Nikki that is the sort of um, uh, the glue that holds everything together. Um, and so she gives him the space to be able to do that. But from her perspective, she's like, well, why do you get all the good bits? Yeah, why am I just the glue? <laughs> yeah, yeah, why are you the glue? And I'm the glitter. <laughs> you are the glitter. I'm yeah. the glitter, you're the glue. <laughs> uh, you guys are, are surrounded by by one of the best uh, casts, I think, on television. I mean, everybody is just spot on. And uh, do, do you form really close relationships, Esther? Yeah, yeah, I think that's the thing. Like, not only are they all just super brilliant at what they do, they're just also super lovely as well. It's such a... We have a WhatsApp group. Yeah, we do have a WhatsApp group. <laughs> we have a WhatsApp group. <laughs> there was actually some activity there today. There was. A bit of a flurry of activity, <laughs> there was some on, activity that on that WhatsApp on the, group. On the, on the group. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you type. The show's coming out soon. <laughs> but it actually was nothing to do with the show. Oh, no, that's true. No, yeah. it wasn't. It was about... Uh, no, let's, not, let's not bore, let's, <laughs> no, let's yeah. not bore the gentleman. Um, but yeah, no, we, we, we all really like each other. Um, apart from me and Esther, we don't, we, no. we, we don't like each other. Uh, are, are you, Rafe, are you allowed to go off script a little bit? Uh, do you guys do a lot of improv or any improv? Do we? You do. I do, and then get told not to. Uh, and then the writer looks a bit... A bit peed off, and then uh, and then I stick to. Don't you know? In, in all seriousness, I, it's rare that I need to because the script is so good, it's so tight, mm. and all of the funny jokes really that you see in the show are from the pen of Andy, our writer. Every now and again, I'll sneak some stuff in there because I think it's important to. Um, what are you laughing at? So, no, sorry, <laughs> no, because no. Sometimes you do, but sometimes it's because you don't. <laughs> Then what your line because is. I don't know, because I don't know the lines. <laughs> because I've not learned the lines properly, so I'll make it up. There, that's the perfect uh, answer. Uh, yeah, well, it's true. Uh, Esther, in our last moments together, what do you think audience uh, who are just now discovering trying will get out of season three? I think uh, similarly for uh, season one and season two, that, that whole idea that we're life throws all these curveballs at you and it's i guess it's how you meet them and if you kind of come up with it with an understanding that life isn't necessarily what you expected it to be you're able to navigate those curveballs better because life isn't life is mad, mad. <laughs> life isn't what you expect it to be um but i think sometimes it takes a while to lean into that um and all you can do is try with it yeah like the name of the show um uh, anyway uh <laughs> season three begins uh the 22nd of, of of july congratulations and let's hope there's season four five and six coming thank you